may notice that I am in a new location. So, um, just in case you're curious, <laughs> I am now filming in my bedroom. I have been filming in a like filming room and I was trying to use natural daylight so I sat in front of two windows but the two windows were like small and together and now I'm in front of one big window so I think that it is going to help with my lighting. In my previous location I was trying to use like artificial lighting and sit in front of the windows and I did everything I could to brighten it up and it just was not good enough and so I'm hoping that this looks much better um, it already does in the viewfinder so I really hope that the lighting in this video is better and also funny story sort of <laughs> my camera has not been on the highest quality that it like it can film on the pixels have been cut down like two notches like throughout the whole time i've been filming youtube videos and i didn't realize it and this whole time i thought that like the worst problem was the lighting but that was also cut down too so i'm really hoping that this video turns out a lot better for you guys it seems to be going well already if you want to learn how i got my makeup then keep on watching the makeup in this look is more of like a glam eye and just like a natural face. I kept the lip color light and my like contour and highlight, all of that is very natural looking and the eyes are just pretty glam. Alright guys, so first I am going to start by getting my hair out of the way. Just putting this headband on to get my hair out of the way. And I'm going to start with the eyes today. I'm just taking Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion. Just put it on my fingers and I'll just rub that in nicely. So, um, I have already moisturized my face, just so you know. Alright, so now I'm taking this Arch Powder Brush from Real Techniques, which you might have seen in my previous Ulta haul. If not, you can go check that out. And um, I'm just taking my face powder that I used to set my entire face. And I'm just going to set my eyelids. Since this is for Valentine's Day, I was thinking pink. If you want something a little bit different, I have a pink eye makeup look on my channel already. And I think that it would work well for Valentine's Day, but that's <laughs> obviously not what I'm doing. So first off, I'm going to start with a crease brush. And this is just from IT Cosmetics. And I'm going to be using a blush because none of my pink eyeshadows are pink enough. And I really wanted this to be pink because I just think it screams Valentine's Day. So I'm just using a blush that I use. This is old and is from Glamique. Um, it's just one of their older blushes. It is in the shade Sweetheart, but I don't think they make it anymore. But I would just suggest using the blush that you use for every day. Um, I wouldn't suggest a cream blush, but any blush that you use for every day. Alright, so I've just applied some scotch tape, and I'm just going to swirl around my brush in the blush, and just put that in my crease. And for today's video, I'm only going to be showing you one eye, um, just so it's shorter. I'm just starting out here at the tape, and bringing it in, just circle motions and windshield wiper motions. Next, I'm taking my Morphe 350 palette, and they don't have names, but I'm just taking this cream shade right here. Any cream shade will do, and I'm just going to take an angled, like, fluffy brush. This is just by Eco Tools, and I'm just going to put that cream eyeshadow on my lid in the center, and I'm going to bring it up and highlight the brow bone with that. Also, I think that this looks better if both of these shades are matte, so I wouldn't suggest a blush that's also like a highlighting blush or with much shimmer in it at all. I think matte looks the best. Alright, so now that I've done that, I'm just going to go back in and touch up my crease. I really want it to be vibrant and stand out. So... I'm going to take this angled eyeliner brush from Sonia Kashuk. It's number 14, I believe. No, it's number 27. <laughs> and then I'm taking my Maybelline Eye Studio Black Eyeliner. 
And so usually whenever I do a winged eyeliner, I don't leave the tape on. You obviously can because it helps a lot of people, but I do when I do gel because I feel like gel is easy to um, smudge everywhere. So the only thing I use the tape for is just, um, just the outer part. So I just make the wing that I want and I fill it in. Alright, and then once I get the angle that I like on the straight edge, I just take off the tape. Then for the rest of the eye, I'm just going to go back and fill that in. A lot of times whenever I do winged eyeliner, I don't keep the top line straight. It like curves down. Like it's like the wing and it curves down. But this one I'm going to keep it straight all the way across. You don't have to, but I just like it with this look. Okay, so now I'm going to add some glitter uh, right in the corner. And I'm going to yet again use the Morphe 350 palette. So I'm going to be taking this shade right here. It's a shimmery shade. Now, I don't know where this brush is from, but it's a lip brush. Um, I think you could probably use any type of small detail brush for this, but I prefer a lip brush. It's weird, but I just think it's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack in the color right here and then try and drag it up um, on the lids, okay? So first I'm going to do a layer here, and then I'm going to do a second layer and spray my brush. So first I'm just putting it in the corner and dragging it up. Then I got that down. I don't even know if you can see that. But I'm just going to get the product all over my <laughs> lip brush. And then I'm going to spray it. Like that. Alright, so silly me didn't get it filmed. But I just went back in and touched up my honor right down here where any glitter got on it. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Real Techniques sponge, Complexion Perfection sponge, I think that's what it's called, and then my foundation, which is just L'Oreal True Match, super blendable makeup is what it's called, but it's just L'Oreal True Match, and I just put that on the back of my hand. First, I'm just going to take my middle finger, and I'm just going to dot a little bit on my face because um, it's easy to apply too much product, so I'm just going to dot, like, dot on my forehead, both my cheeks and my chin. And then I'm going to blend that out. You get that blended out, then I just add product and just build it up to the level of coverage I want. All right, so once I get my foundation on, I'm using my concealer, which is CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. And I'm just going to Apply that under my eyes in a triangle shape. You can do this really messy. It doesn't matter as long as you blend it out well. And then I just put that right under my wing too so that I can highlight that area. Then I'm just putting it up here as well in a small triangle shape. Then on my chin too. Alright, so now I am going to take this and blend it out. I like to use the flat edge down here real close to my cheeks, but then the pointed edge to get into like the corners of my eyes. Alright, so now I'm just going to take this large powder brush, which is from Real Techniques, and then my Sonia Kashuk Face Setting Powder. Just get this all over my brush and then I'm just gonna set my entire face. Alright, so now I'm going back in with this arch powder brush that I use to set my eyeshadow primer and the same face setting powder. And I'm just going to set my under eyes. I like to pack quite a bit under here because it my concealer always moves. Even like high-end concealers. I cannot get them to stay put when I do my eyeliner. 
underneath my eyes so I've just set that really nicely. If you would like you can just do like your normal contour routine with this look but I'm going to go a little bit more natural so I'm using this lighter shade than I usually use and it's pretty close to my skin tone it's just a few shades darker it's actually left over from summer when I was a darker color and this is just L'Oreal True Match and it's in the shade N4 so I'm just taking that with an ankle fluffy face brush and I'm just going to use it for a contour see you can you can still see a difference but it's just a lot lighter than what I would normally do then I'm going to go up here and just buff it in around the corners of my forehead all right so I'm just gonna highlight my face a little bit you probably can't see this because it's like I'm just gonna show you like the powder left over on it because you know how bare minerals is you can't like really hold that up this is in the shade flawless radiance and it's just like a shimmery powder and I'm just gonna take it with an airbrush concealer brush from a cosmetics I'm just putting it on the tops of my cheekbones it's not very noticeable and I'm gonna bring it up here a little bit but it's not that noticeable, but I'm just using it for a subtle highlight. I'm going back to my eyes now, and I'm going to take this eyeliner by Urban Decay. This is the shade Glitter Rock. I'm just going to take this and put it in my waterline. Alright, and then I'm taking my eyeliner brush from earlier and the leftover product on it. I'm just going to drag that down around my eye. Okay, so now I'm just applying some mascara. This is Maybelline's Great Lash Mascara. And I'm going for a more lengthening mascara because of how thick my eyeliner is. It's already gonna make our eyelashes look like they have volume. Alright, now I'm going to move on to my lips. You could definitely go for like a bright pink or a light pink, but I'm just going to use this nude shade. This is a matte balm from Revlon in the shade Enchanting. And I'm just going to put this all over my lips. It doesn't change the color too much just because it's very close to my natural shade, but it just like perfects them. And it also moisturizes your lips. Alright, so you can definitely leave this like this. I think it looks great. I probably would. But I also think it's very pretty to add a gloss on top. This is just one from Victoria's Secret. And it does not have a shade. But it's just like a nude shimmery shade. And so I just place it on top of it. So I hope you all have a great Valentine's Day. Just remember to love yourself and I hope you all look fab while doing it. <laughs> Alright, that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you did, let me know by liking it. And also, if you have any videos you want to see, then leave those in the comments because I'm always looking for something new to film. And subscribe so that you can see all the videos I'll be posting in the future. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Also check out this picture. Ooh, I'm feeling festive for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Try not to be loud, I'm filming a video.